Ciao, hola, mahabin, namaste, konnichiwa, ni hao, guten tag, jumbo, aloha, good day mates. Hello everyone, my name is Millicent Trader with The Art of Being, and today is our first TMI video, yay, or, ew, I don't know. Today we're going to talk about poop, what your poop should look like, what your poop should smell like, the consistency, the texture, uh, just, it's about to get real medical up in here. Today my notes are going to be coming from the podcast called Stuff You Should Know, so shout out to those guys there. Thank you so much, I learned a lot about poop listening to your video and now I'm gonna share it all with you if you think this video is unnecessary if you think Millicent why are we talking about our poo I don't you know subscribe or watch your channel to to hear anything about poop well you could actually tell a lot about your health from your poop so poop is basically a bunch of water fiber good bacteria bad bacteria you know all lumped in whatever um, and there are actually seven different types of poop I would not have guessed that. My number would have been something like higher because I'm 35 years old. I'm 34, I'll be 35. I've seen my fair share of poop and uh, I would think it'd be way more than seven different types, but there are seven and I'm gonna share them with you now. The first type of poop I'm gonna share with you uh, is type number one. And this is what's referred to the deer poop. And it's called the deer poop. Some of you already know, you nature people, those who've been out in the woods, you've seen deer poop, you know what it looks like. It's tiny uh, lumps, broken pieces. Uh, it's usually harder to pass. Sometimes it could be darker in color. Um, but that's not a healthy type of poop. So if your poop is like little tiny pieces coming out and hard to pass, then you may need more water and fiber in your diet but we'll get to that a little bit later poop number two no pun intended <laughs> but the second type of poop is more like a sausage shape lumpy bumpy think baby ruth okay poop type number three is also going to be sausage shaped um but this one's not lumpy it's more like smooth all around and it's got like cracks in it why am I describing this like it's some beautiful thing? But that's the third type of poop. Brown, medium light brown, whatever. Not a lot of pieces. A nice good poop. The fourth type of poop, and this is the poop that they say is what your poop should look like. And I was shocked. And let's see if you're going to be shocked too. But it's an S-shaped poop. Can you believe that that's the healthy poop? And if you think about it, it makes sense because our intestines are S-shaped, you know? And they, you know, they coil together and form and so the poop just kind of comes out. You want it all to come on out. <laughs> I just got a little bit TMI, that's what it's all about. Nobody wants to hear it. But it's good for us to like just get knowledge and know what's going on. Okay. Poop type number five. Now this one's going to be like, ugh, I'm getting really nauseous and my stomach's a little turning describing this to you. But it's like, <laughs> like a soft serve kind. It's very smooth around the edges and you know, it's more like blobs, you know, softer blobs, but clear edges, you know. But it's just soft, it's like soft serve ice cream. Poop type number six, and this is where you're getting to unhealthy poops. Poop number six is like uh, ragged edges. It's uh, not smooth, it's just like jaggedy edges. It's really mushy, you know, mushy jagged edges. That's Poop type number six. And that could come in many colors from brown to all kind of things. Poop type number seven. Now this is the last poop type because there are seven types of poop. And this one is mainly like water poo. We've all been there. But we've all been there when we just like, it's just, it's all water. No, that's poop type number seven. It's not really a healthy poop. It has a lot to do with like stuff going through your system quickly like and it doesn't have enough time to sit there and absorb and break down it's just coming out 
so it's not a healthy sign another type of poop is like a poop that's like very pencil like or ribbon like it's very thin poop coming out if that's happening it could be a tumor so again if it's not often don't worry about it but if it happens normally please go see your doctor so now we want to talk about the sound our poop makes when it hits the water because <laughs> Sorry, this is so gross. The way your poop should sound when it's hitting the water is not a big splash. If you're hearing a big splash sound, that's not good. The sound that you want to hear is a gentle, like, ah, uh, like a, like a silent, uh, the guys in the podcast, they described it as a whoosh. So you want to, you know, you want, you want it to come on out. You know, and that's why the healthiest type of poop is type 4, the S shape, because it's supposed to be cleaning out your system. So if it's a slow, gentle, calm, pass poop where it just hits the water, that's a good poop. Anything coming out real hard, real fast, it's a bad poop. So that's something that you can listen out for the next time you go to the loo. <laughs> I can't do this with a straight face. Gosh. Oh man. Okay, another thing you want to look out in your poop is if it's a floater or sinker. Now, I thought floaters were healthy, but actually floaters are not healthy. It's a sign of like too much fat in your diet. Ah, uh, what? So, healthy poop, a sign of healthy poop is sinking poop. Sitting right on the bottom. Okay, so how often should we be pooping? That is a good question. It's actually anywhere from three times a week to three times a day. Can you believe that? I was shocked to get that. That's a normal normal amount of pooping. This is the normal round from three times a week to three times a day. A way to pass your poo is if you're a little bit backed up, don't reach for a laxative straight away because laxatives actually train the muscles in your intestines to depend on the laxative to pass that means taking laxatives constantly will weaken your intestine muscles instead eat whole foods get lots and lots and lots of fiber the average american gets only 10 grams of fiber a day we're supposed to be getting 25 to 35 grams of fiber a day we probably me included are not eating enough fiber so get your fiber on where can we find fiber not just in our grains people you have to get fiber in your leafy green vegetables okay um if it's green eat it exercise helps pass your poop too because when you're exercising it helps move like your core and that is where your intestines are so everything's getting worked out the muscles of your intestines are getting worked at, out and that just helps you poop and of course hydration we need to be getting at least eight cups of water a day or a gallon if you're about that life a good way to tell if your pee is clear or not things like that the color of your pee can show where your hydration levels are if it's really dark you need to have some more water. So this is important. We're actually pooping incorrectly. The position that we're pooping in, which is a sitting position, is not really what God intended necessarily, at least not in the garden. He didn't make, you know, on the eighth day, like a toilet bowl, a John. No. Adam was squatting. And he was squatting too, wherever, wherever they were. Squatting is actually the healthiest way or position to poop in. But it's actually healthy because it lets your body pass all of your poop. So what you can do uh, is get a stool and put it in the front of your loo so or toilet so that when you poop, you can have your, your knees up and, you know, get it all out there. It's healthy. So when you poop, put your knees up. Really squat in it. If you feel like you could be getting out a little bit more, try a squatty potty or just a stool in front of your uh, toilet. And of course, I have to say this. Always wash your hands after you use the bathroom. I shouldn't have to say it, but please, always wash your hands after you use the bathroom. Thank you so much for joining me with our TMI video about poop. 
when you turn around and look at the ball, anybody's ever done that, you're actually doing the right thing. So keep a lookout for what your poop looks like. Bye.